Good morning. Today is the 29th of August, 2021, and I was just uh, reading the Bible and uh, came across some really interesting, uh, really interesting things, and I wanted to share that with anybody who might be interested. Um, there's a connection. Um, I was reading Deuteronomy 6, and there's a phrase in there called our righteousness, and it just kind of, all of a sudden, a whole bunch of things uh, started to connect, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, Deuteronomy 6, verses 13 through 25, says, Fear Jehovah your God and serve him only, and take your oaths in his name. Do not follow other gods, the gods of the people around you. For Jehovah your God, who is among you, is a jealous God. Otherwise, the anger of Jehovah your God will be kindled against you, and he will wipe you off the face of the earth. Okay, this is pretty heavy stuff. Do not test Jehovah your God as you tested him at Massah. You are to diligently keep the commandments of Jehovah your God and the testimonies and the statutes he has given you. Do what is right and good in the sight of Jehovah, so that it may be well with you, and that you may enter and possess the good land that Jehovah your God swore to give your fathers, driving out all your enemies before you, as Jehovah has said. And um, <clears throat> the part where it says, you know, that you may enter and possess, uh, that's definitely connected to uh, Revelation. There's a part where in Revelation, I think it's in the chapter 21 or 22 or something like that, it says something about, um, you know, being able to enter. It's like, you know, certain people will not enter. Um, so I think this is definitely connected to that passage in Revelation. Okay, verse 20, um, which is about uh, teaching your children, which is from the Shema. Verse 20, in the future, when your son asks, what is the meaning of the decrees and statutes and ordinances that Yehovah, your God has com Yehovah our God has commanded you? So you got you know, decrees and statutes and ordinances and, and all this stuff. It's like, what is this all about? What is the meaning of this? Then you ought to tell him, we were slaves of Pharaoh in Egypt, but Jehovah brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Before our eyes, Jehovah inflicted great and devastating signs and wonders on Egypt, on Pharaoh, and on all of his household. But he brought us out from there to lead us in and give us the land he has sworn to our fathers. And Jehovah commanded us to observe all these statutes and to fear Jehovah our God, that we may always be prosperous and preserved as we are to this day. And if we are careful to observe every one of these commandments before Jehovah our God as he has commanded us, then that will be our righteousness. And I looked around in the Bible, and there's a couple other places that I found um, that had this phrase, our righteousness. Jeremiah 23, 1 through 8. Woe to the shepherds who destroy. And before I go into that, remember what, uh, what he just said. Um, what we're to, to tell our sons is uh, when we were slaves of Pharaoh in Egypt, Jehovah brought us out of Egypt, okay? There's going to be another one, another m massive event. There's going to be a greater exodus, and you can see it here. Uh, this is the prophet Jeremiah. So that was the Torah. So the, the first thing that we read was Deuteronomy, so that's the Torah. And now we're going to read the prophets. Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, declares Jehovah. Therefore, this is what Jehovah, the God of Israel, says about the shepherds who tend my people. 
You have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not attended to them. Behold, I will scatter you. Let's see. Behold, I will attend to you for the evil of your deeds, declares Yehovah. Then I myself will gather the remnant of my flock from all the lands to which I have banished them. So pause and consider that, what we just read. Yehovah himself will gather the remnant of his flock, not from Egypt, but from all the lands to which I have banished them. This is the whole world. So somehow, you know, all around the world, there's, there's going to be people who are going to be taken and brought back to the land. And I will, and here it is, and I will return them to their pasture. And this is the promised land where they will be fruitful and multiply. I will raise up shepherds over them who will tend them and they will no longer be afraid or dismayed, nor will any go missing, declares Yehovah. And again, I think I'm pretty sure this is this has got something to do with uh, Revelation um, uh, to those who rule and reign with Christ. Um, so verse 5, uh, Jeremiah 23, verse 5. Behold, the days are coming, declares Jehovah, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he will reign wisely as king, and will administer justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel will dwell securely. So it's Judah, Israel. And this is his name by which he will be called Yehovah, our righteousness. So who is this wise king? So behold, the days are the days are coming, declares Yehovah, when they will no longer say. So here it is. So this is verse 7. So this is Jeremiah 23, verse 7. So behold, the days are coming, declares Yehovah, when they will no longer say, as surely as Yehovah lives, who brought the Israelites up out of the land of Egypt. Instead, they will say, as surely as Yehovah lives, who brought and led the descendants of the house of Israel up out of the land of the north and all the other lands to which he had banished them. Then they will dwell once more in their own land. In Jeremiah 33, 14 through 26, so this is uh, another, uh, giving us a little, a little more on this, our righteousness. Behold, the days are coming, declares Jehovah, when I will fulfill the gracious promise that I have spoken to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. In those days and at that time, I will cause to sprout for David a righteous branch, and he will administer justice and righteousness in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved, and Jerusalem will dwell securely. And this is the name by which he will be called, Yehovah, our righteousness. Verse 17. For this is what Yehovah says. David will never lack a man to sit on the throne of the house of Israel, nor will the priests who are Levites ever fail to have a man before me to offer burnt offerings, to burn grain offerings, and to present, pre present sacrifices. Okay, I might have to make this into two parts here. Um, And the word of Yehovah came to Jeremiah. This is what Yehovah says. If you can break my covenant with the day and my covenant with the night, so that the day and night cease to occupy their appointed time. Hang on a second. I'm going to pause this. Okay. I'm just pausing and, and resuming to make sure the camera doesn't time out here. Um, so Jeremiah 33, verse 19. And the word of Yehovah came to Jeremiah. This is what Yehovah says, if you can break my covenant with the day and my covenant with the night, so that